What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon X and Y. We've made it to the Reflection Cave, we're pretty close to Shalur City and the next gym badge, so let's get started with this new cave I guess, as we already have a wild Pokemon. Great start! Anyway, last time we actually got to Geosenge Town and actually made it here, I believe it was Route 11, I can't really remember, but there was definitely a little route in between Geosenge and this cave, and we're gonna just run away from all these Ragnarolas, cause at least uh, Chespin there, I keep saying Chespin, it's Quilladin, and uh, Otto is his name, so Otto doesn't actually have any moves that can actually hit all of them. Whoa, what the heck? That guy just turned around and saw us, I guess trainers aren't as dumb as they look? Or something? I, I was trying to tiptoe my way out of there. It's not like you can actually use the skates or the bike in here anyway. But uh, that was still pretty cool. I think the guy actually saw us in the reflection now that I think about it. This is, after all, Reflection Cave. Not only do we reflect upon our lives in here, but there's literally, like, mirrors everywhere. So you can look at your reflection. And I guess that guy saw us in the reflection and actually noticed that we were walking by him. So he decided to stop us for a battle. That was actually pretty interesting there. But... As I was saying, uh, we're pretty close to Shallower City, so hopefully in today's episode we make it through this Reflection Cave here. But we'll see how it goes as far as this goes, because uh, I do remember actually this cave over from one of those trailers that I've talked so much about. Um, actually it wasn't a trailer, but rather when the reviews of the games came out, I remember there was this like... I guess really unknown Spanish website, I'd never heard of it and I don't think uh, it's very well known among even like Spanish fans, but uh, they posted up a bunch of little clips and things and it had this cave as well as Glittering Cave in it, and I'm pretty sure that these things are actually supposed to crumble under your feet, like make a little crumbling sound, but I guess those specifically don't do it. Uh, but I do also remember this cave and it seems a lot more maze-like, whoa that is really cool man. Just look at all these effects. I don't know, this game is just so cool. All these little effects that they have every once in a while just makes it all worthwhile. Like, look at that mirror in the back. That's so cool, man. You can actually see our reflection. Let's reflect into our lives. I wonder if this is kind of like that Harry Potter mirror where we look into it and we can actually see what we most want. I think that's how the Harry Potter mirror was. Don't, uh, yeah, don't exactly remember, but I know that he saw his parents and it's like, this is what I want. I'm, I want my parents. Or is it like, it's, it might, it must be something else, but I don't think he wanted his parents, considering they were dead. I think he just more so wanted to make them proud, maybe, and that's why they showed up. I need to rewatch those movies. I literally rewatched them, like, maybe three months ago, and I already forgot so much about them. I guess it's because I, I'm not really, like, a uh, super fan of the series. I really like the movies, but I never read the books or anything like that, so I can't really say I'm a huge fan of the series, since I've never read the books, and that seems to be a pretty huge part of it. But here we actually run into Sableye, a pretty cool Pokemon um, that previously didn't used to have any weaknesses, but I believe actually now they do have a weakness uh, since Fairy type can beat one of those two. I forget which one. I think Fairies are Fairies good against Dark type. Is that what's up? All right, I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and spray a repel and keep those going for a while. I do know that Spirit Tomb and Sableye no longer have no weakness though, so I don't know. I feel like it's either because of Steel type or because of Fairy type. One of those two. Uh, yeah, maybe they still do maintain their, like, not having a weakness. What's up with this? That was weird. I thought there was going to be, like, a little cutscene, but I guess it's just an area where we, the camera angle changes for no reason. I wonder what would happen if we just stand here for a while. I don't know. Nothing's really happening. Cool. Well, there's a ledge right there in the way, so we can't really go that way. Let's instead go down here, then. I keep uh, having to spray repels. Oh, there it is. There's a little crumbling sounds. Oh, wait, never mind. It's that. I thought it was like the ground crumbled under your feet, but it's actually sand falling or falling from the ceiling, signifying that there is actually a Wubat hanging from the ceiling as we're actually going to take this guy out here. I'm just going to go ahead and beat him up because uh, why not? He's one of those cool Pokemon that you encounter not just from running around, but uh, kind of like that brush venipede. He's kind of like the hanging from the ceiling Wubat going to swoop down and try and kidnap your brain and then fail to do so because he's got a heart for a nose that uh having a heart for a nose is usually a signal that people can't snatch your brain or pokemon because people i don't think many people have a heart for a nose it's not a very common thing at least not here in america maybe in other countries people have hearts for noses could you even actually do that like well the, you know what i forget that i ever said that i didn't say anything guys I said nothing, I promise. Anyway, here is a wonderful throw. I'm guessing this girl or someone in this cave is also going to have a sock because wherever there's a throw, there bounds to be or there's bound to be a sock somewhere nearby. So, 
Let's take out uh, Ernie here. I usually like to call him Bert and Ernie, but for a second there I forgot which one was which. But this is definitely Ernie, Bert's the taller one, so we're going to see a Bert somewhere in this cave eventually. If not, this girl herself has both of them. I'm really not sure. But if she does, then I'm probably going to end up switching to Esper and hopefully taking it out with that. But uh, Otto here growing to level uh, 35 and learning Seed Bomb. Kind of curious because, well, actually no, Seed Bomb is a physical move. So let's go ahead and get rid of Takedown. Uh, I don't really have a use for it, uh, doesn't do as much damage as I guess I'd like it to, and Seed Bomb does its job pretty well, the same job I guess. Palucha is up next, kind of a problem because it's a flying type, and as you guys have noticed, we have quite a bit of troubles with fighting type, or flying types. Thankfully it is half uh, fighting though, so maybe Pet can do a number to it, but I'm just gonna go for the huge, the usual Ember, because that seems to be what takes it out the quickest. However, it is faster, so it's gonna go for the Aerial Ace. Wow, that... Wait, did that really just do half of our HP and damage? Whoa. That is not good. We... Oh, wow. This thing... This thing is kicking our butt, man. Let's go for the peck here. With the speed boost, we are now faster than it. But that doesn't do enough damage to actually take it out. So it's gonna go for another Aerial Ace and may very well take us out. Palucha does not mess around, man. Does this thing have, like, crazy stats? Because it seems to be doing a really good amount of damage every time we fight one. Every Halucha we fought has actually been doing really well against us. And I really... Oh, man. This might actually be... Whoa. Okay. Okay. Not a one-hit kill, but pretty close. And I forgot that it's half fighting type, so... Yeah. All right. We're probably going to die here, which is kind of a bummer. It's all up to you, Esper. You got to do it for the team, man. Otto and Combuskin are both down, so it's all up to you, Laliette. You've got this, girl. You can do it. I believe in you. Psybeam powers, go! It's gonna go for the Aerial Ace. Hopefully this isn't a one-hit kill, and it isn't, so the Psybeam is actually going to take out Halucha. Awesome. I was actually really worried there, because... Oh, man. We are just losing it hard to these flying types, man. We need a... Uh, actually, we have the Dene, or the Den. I keep confusing which one I chose I was gonna say. Was your name Hedwig? I feel like her name was Hedwig, and we were just talking about Harry Potter, and that cannot be a coincidence, man. But uh, there we go, we took her out, finally, Halucha did take out two of our Pokemon though, and I don't think we have any revives, which is uh, not a good thing. Here's a Moonstone though, I don't know which Pokemon, if there's any new ones that you can evolve with that, but uh, you can definitely evolve some old favorites like uh, Clefairy and of course Jigglypuff, which are both now Fairy type. I think Clefairy is pure Fairy type, of course its name has Fairy in it, so it's not like that was unexpected or anything like that. And uh, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, I believe, are normal and fairy type now. So let's check out and see if we have... We actually have one revive. I'm gonna go ahead and use it on Otto, uh, because Otto is very, very close to evolving. And if he does evolve, I feel like, well, actually, he's gonna have an even worse time. You'll see why. I haven't spoiled why just yet, but uh, it should be pretty obvious what's gonna happen, considering we've been losing to so many flying types. It's gonna become even worse for us, basically. Ace Trainer, I don't know them. I'm just a beautiful little... Wow, this is an Ace Trainer. Never mind. I thought you were like a lass or one of those beauties or something, but that is definitely an Ace Trainer looking very, very nice, calm and collected. And of course, this is a flying type, so what are we going to do? Roll out! And he dodges the attack. Yeah! Wait, what the heck attack did he just use? Uproar? Yes. Alright, well, let's see if we can actually hit the rollout this time and get that going. Autobot, roll out! Some people have actually told me to rename Auto to Autobot. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, actually, but uh, I, I just like the name Auto. Reminds me of... I don't know, every time I say it, I think of Auto as in Auto Parts or Autobots, the actual... Like, like a car, basically, but... It's Auto, like the, uh, the bus driver of The Simpsons, and also Auto from Team Rocket, which is partly why I actually named it Auto. I never thought of it. Well, I did think of it, but I didn't mention it, rather. Um, Auto from Team Rocket, he's got the... I don't remember if he's got the spiky hair, but maybe he's got, like, a spiky hat? Something spiky on him? And, uh, well, you'll see. He's... This is, after all, the spiky... The spiky armor Pokemon, or spiny armor? One of those two. Granbull is up next, and that is actually now a half fairy type, so I'm not sure how we're gonna take that out. But we are just... I'm just gonna stay in and go for the rollout. Maybe that'll take it out, actually. Um, not sure if Granbull is actually full fairy or normal fairy. We'll have to check that one out in the Pokedex. But I do believe we've got to catch one to actually figure it out. We did see a Snubble in Route 10, the same place where we caught all those other Pokemon last episode, but I actually did not catch myself one, so... 
yeah, maybe I'll backtrack eventually and catch myself a uh, wonderful little snubble and we'll see what typing it is. Of course, I could also just check a website or read the comments every once in a while, as I already mentioned this before, and I'm sure one of you guys out there probably mentioned it to me already, so I'm sorry if you did, but uh, I haven't been checking all the comments uh, recently. I've been checking a lot of them, though. There's just a lot of videos, so I usually end up checking uh, the latest video, I guess, uploaded, and yeah. Don't know what I should delete for Thunder Wave, but it's definitely going to be a good move for us because it'll help us catch a bunch of Pokemon that we haven't been able to catch because we have no status ailments. Nuzzle, though, only has 20 power. Let's see, it attacks by nuzzling its electrified cheeks against the target. This also leaves it with paralysis. Why do we even need Thunder Wave if we've got Nuzzle, then? Nuzzle literally does damage and paralyzes them, so what's the point of Thunder Wave if we've got that? A very nice Ace Trainer. I actually really like the design of it. It's, uh... It's got a, a bit of a girl side to it, you know? You can feel that it's a girl. That doesn't even make any sense. But at the same time, it's very serious looking. Like, you can tell it's an ace trainer. She is not messing around with us. And uh, I like that about it. So, let's go ahead and spray another repel. I guess we need some strength to actually get on over that side. Uh, I think we could have also actually just... Wait, is that... I think we've actually been over there before. I feel like we've been to that side of the cave, but... Not certain. This lady actually is very nice and will heal up our Pokemon. Just what we needed, actually. I was wondering if there was going to be a healing trainer somewhere around here. I'm going to try to speed through this cave, actually, because I don't think we have uh, many, very many repels left. So I'm going to try to speed through the rest of this and hopefully last out our repels. I really hope that the town coming up sells super repels because, honestly, the Pokemon, the, the, high, or the wild Pokemon are getting too high level and... Uh, our Pokemon are getting too high level, and it's getting way too cray-cray to actually run around looking for new Pokemon, so... Well, I probably actually should be looking for new Pokemon. The only problem will be leveling them up, because as you see so far, we've got the EXP share on Esper, but... She hasn't been able to do that much. Speaking of which, why are we not sending out Esper right now? Lolliet, go out there and beat him up, man! You've got one more level till you evolve, I believe, so... Better do a good job here, and probably evolve, actually. I believe if Lolliet wins this battle... She will be able to evolve, and of course we get poisoned. Why didn't I expect that? Yeah. Oh man, that sucks. At least we have a lady that heals us right next to us. So as long as Lolliet is faster, and she is, she should be able to take out this Neat Arena in one hit. There we go. See you later, Neat Arena. I actually have a Moonstone, so if you want that, you can probably evolve your Neat Arena into Neat Queen, and maybe have a better, better job against me. But probably not. Let's be honest. All right, learning Psy Shock at level 25. A very powerful psychic move, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of, uh... Um... Oh, okay. I guess Light Screen is for special attacks, so we're gonna get rid of that. I thought it was for physical attacks, but since it's for special, I don't think it'll be that helpful against the gym, since it's gonna be a fighting gym, and they more than likely have mostly physical attacks, so... Yeah, Reflect definitely would have been a lot better. And at level 25, I guess I was right, Lolliet is gonna be evolving. And here we go! We've got ourselves a fantastic female Meowstic. If you guys don't know yet, uh, Meowstic has a very drastic difference depending on male and female version. And as I've mentioned many times, the female gets a completely different moveset, being more offensive oriented, which is why I went for the female, because when I build my Pokemon teams, I'm all about the offense, man. I usually, I like male Pokemon a lot just because I guess I am a boy myself, so I like to have a team of all boys, man, rough them up, beat them up, you know? But uh, Meowstic, the female being the one that has the power, is pretty dang awesome, you know? You gotta equal it out, equal it out, Game Freak, doing a good job of gender equality and uh, all that other good stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of, the, like, I don't, I guess I support it, but I don't usually talk about stuff like that. So, I'm all about it, I really don't care. Girls can be just as good as boys are, especially at Pokemon. Sometimes I wish I was a girl. Except, never, because that would actually be really weird. 
<laughs> anyway, here's Tierno! Distract us from this weird conversation that we're having. Thank you, buddy. He's actually gonna give us TM70 for Flash. I really hope this doesn't mean, one, Tierno just flashed us, two, there's gonna be a dark cave coming up, because I really don't want to deal with a dark cave right here, man. Alright, we actually ran out of repels, which is kind of unfortunate. I may actually just use this escape rope and go buy some more, because I really don't want to deal with wild Pokemon. I guess we're just gonna take it slow. We're gonna uh, battle all these trainers and... Yeah, take it, take it slow, just so that we don't run into many wild Pokemon. I do know that there are actually... So far, we've only run into two hordes, and they've both been uh, Rock and Rolla, so... Don't really want to run into any wild Pokemon, especially if they're just going to end up being those horde battles. Anyway, this guy actually does have his sock, as I mentioned. There's a Burt. Every time there's an Ernie, there's got to be a Burt following him somewhere nearby. So, let's actually go ahead and use an Antidote on our Meow Stick so that we can use her in battle more often. Now that she's level 25 and has evolved, I do believe... Whoa! What was that? What, what the heck was that, man? I sincerely have no idea, so I really hope he uses that move again because I was not paying attention. Was that like... I don't know, man. He's gonna use it again. Retaliate! Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it was retaliate. That is definitely true. I'm gonna go ahead and soda pop myself up because... Oh no, I used it on the wrong Pokemon. I'm so sorry, Lolliet. Why did I screw up like that? Oh man. Honestly, I probably could have just gone for Psy Shock and probably would have killed it, but I guess not. Go, Otto! Otto is actually super close to evolving. I'm pretty sure Combuskin is as well, so... It's very well possible that we might have a triple evolution in this episode, especially because of uh, Combuskin gaining so much EXP, not only from being a traded Pokemon, but the EXP share being on. Which, really, the only reason the EXP share is on is for Lolliet. Mainly for Lolliet, at least. Uh, Stewart and, of course, Tyrant. What is Tyrant's name? Al Aladar? Yeah, Aladar. I, I totally spaced out for a second, but yeah. Um, Stewart the Dead NA and Aladar the Tyrant are also getting some EXP off of that, but mainly for Lolliet the Mousetick, which now she's dead, so. Yay! Otto is growing to level 36, though, which means we're gonna be having our final starter evolution, guys. And oh my gosh! Conbuskin also growing to level 36 there, which means we're gonna have double evolution. Who's gonna be first? It is, of course, our very own Kalos region starter, Otto. So let's see the final form of Qualadin. Voila! We've gotten ourselves a magnificent chestnut! I just realized I said Qualadin, I totally meant Quilladin, but there we go. This is the final evolution of Chespin, it is Chestnut. Of course, a lot of people thought it was fake, a lot of people really didn't want it to be this. I'm kind of on that wagon, or bandwagon a little bit, not all the way, because... I don't know, I actually kind of like them. They're they're good types. Uh, they're not the greatest designs for starter evolutions ever, but I still do like them. They're starters nonetheless, and I will always love all the Pokemon starters. So there it is. Chestnut is actually also learning kind of a signature move to him. It is called Spiky Shield, and I think the way it works is it's basically like Protect. Well, you're Protect yourself from the next attack, but also do back damage to the enemy that attacked you. So, yeah, in addition to protecting the user from attacks, it will also damage any attacker who makes direct contact. So, I am actually going to go ahead and delete Needle Arm for it, just because Seed Bomb is kind of just a more powerful version of Needle Arm. And hopefully this isn't a bad choice. I just kind of want to have Spiky Shield because it is kind of an exclusive move to him. Well, actually, I think other Pokemon have it, but so far it's kind of his signature thing because he's one of the starters. But of course, we have a double evolution, guys. So here goes Kenbuskin. And finally, we've got ourselves a Blaziken! 
Probably my second favorite fire starter. My favorite will always be Infernape. I don't know why, I just have a special liking to Infernape. And finally, we're learning something better than Ember. We've got Blaze Kick. Blaziken's sort of signature move for a little bit. I don't think it is anymore. There's tons of Pokemon that actually learn it. I don't even know if it was ever actually just Blaziken's move, but I think there's a lot of Pokemon that learn it now at least. Maybe it still is. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, we've got ourselves a Chestnut and a Blaziken now, which basically reveals why I didn't want Pancham for the team, because we pretty much have two fighting types on the team now, and both of them are weak to flying types, and now Chestnut here is even weaker to uh, all those, uh, what do you call it, all those uh, flying type attacks. So now we're even worse against flying types. At least we've got better defense. I mean, we've literally got a giant spike shield on our back, so... We should have way better defenses, and uh, actually also better offense. Since we are fully evolved now, it means our stats are a lot higher. Overall, our Pokemon should be a lot stronger, so we'll see how they all do coming coming into the next gym, which is going to be a fighting type. I've mentioned that like 20 times now, but basically I was trying to get Meowstic to be the MVP in that gym. Looks like that's not going to be possible. Uh, well... Probably, we've still got the gym to go, and honestly, Meowstic is level 25, so I think she'll actually be able to do pretty well against most of the trainers there, um, especially now that she's evolved and has that Psy Shock move. So, let's try and finish up this cave. It seems like this cave has taken us pretty long to actually beat through, <coughs> but this guy here, I'm going to have a Nidorino. Uh, earlier, we saw the girl with the Nidorina, now we've got the Nidorino, except this time, we are a freaking Chestnut, so... This battle should go a lot easier than it did before. So, well, that's not very effective. That sucks. I kind of thought it would be super effective because I thought Nidorino was half crown type, but I guess it doesn't become half crown until it becomes a Nido King or Nido Queen. Um, so it's just not very effective since it's only poison type. So let's bite it instead. We don't really have a... What does it bite with? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's got very spiky teeth or anything like that. Even as Quilladin, it didn't really seem like it had very sharp teeth or anything really to bite you very strongly with, but apparently it does, so there we go. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch um, Blaziken up first, just so we can see him in the battle. I don't mean to restore. I don't like that the restore button is there. I think it should be... Switch should be second, because I'm kind of used to Switch being the second button a lot of the time. I don't know, that's just personal preference, I guess. But uh, you can actually also just drag the Pokemon around down in the bottom screen. If you hold it for a few seconds, you can actually just drag and drop, and that'll actually switch the Pokemon. I really want to avoid that double battle coming up, but at the same time... Whoa, a Chingling! For a second there, I legit thought that was a new Pokemon, because it looked so strange. Chingling is a Pokemon that is... I don't know, you don't usually see it, like, running around in the wild, so... Didn't, I don't know, I got kind of lost there. I didn't think it was, uh, I thought it was a new Pokemon for a few seconds there. Anyway, here is a Hyper Potion. That is great. I kind of want to avoid this double battle, but it looks like we can't. We can't do it. So it's going to be an Auto and Combuskin Blaziken. I am never going to get used to calling you what you are. That's why I really wish I could give it a nickname, but yeah. They're actually going to have uh, Combi and Vespican. Kind of weird combination there. Blaziken, you know what to do, buddy. You've got the new powers of Blaze Kick, and uh, you've got the new powers of Spiky Shield, so use that, I guess, and maybe you're going to get hit by something. There it is. It set up the Spiky Shield. Let's see what happens if someone actually tries to hit us here. So, Blaze Kick to the face. That is definitely a one-hit kill. There's no doubt about that. Bug Pokemon just don't have the best defenses, so 100% one-hit kill there. And it actually decides to attack Blaziken and not Chestnut. So I guess our spiky shield is of no use. It's no use. Doesn't matter though. Speed boost and Blaziken, that also doesn't matter because we're pretty much faster than all these guys anyway. So let's peck away the combi and actually also bite it just in case that doesn't finish it off. But let's be honest, the peck is probably going to kill it. And it does. It's a combi. It's a literally like swatting a fly. I mean, it's it's just, it's a B. Well, it's three Bs combined, but it's still a B, so kind of makes sense that it loses so easily. There we go. We beat another wonderful little tourist couple, and hopefully we're almost out of this cave. It seems to have dragged on forever. I don't know. I feel like I've been in this cave forever. I like the design of it, though. I st I'm still not over that. There is another little item over here, and I think this might be actually the way to the exit, so I'm just going to keep heading this way. I could probably, or I should probably go back and heal, but I really don't want to run into any more wild Pokemon. Um, I'm afraid that guy is a trainer, actually, so I don't really want to talk to him. Do I? 
All right, let's talk to him. And it turns out he is a trainer. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Mr. Hiker, show us your creepy face and your Pokemon, which is a Sandile. Now, we've actually got Blaziken up first. If we had uh, Chestnut still up first, this probably would be super easy. Just throw a giant seed bomb at this Sandile. But instead, we're just going to Blaze kick it into the ground. That's fine, too. It's probably just got squashed like 40 feet into the ground with our flaming kick, and there's now a giant crater with just in the middle of it just like just a crushed sand dial or just its bones. I mean, it kind of just burned alive. Our blaze kick is, after all, a flaming kick to the face. So, next up is going to be Diggersby, actually the first time we're checking this guy out. So, I'm kind of glad, actually, that we entered this battle because... We get to show off a brand new Kalos Pokemon. It is Diggersby, the evolution of Bunnelby. Now, I think this guy is awesome. He's got giant fists for ears. As you saw there when he entered the battle, it kind of like put down its fist, kind of like a fighting type. Like, hey, I'm ready to battle, man. But unfortunately, Chestnut is just too much of a beast. So he gets taken down in one hit. We don't really get to see that much of Diggersby, unfortunately. But I like the idea of having big uh, fighting fist instead of ears, or four ears, rather. Um, Dwebble, what can take care of that? Aladar, how about you give it a shot, man? We haven't seen you in action in a while, and you're actually level 28, which is not bad at all. So, let's send out Aladar and see how he does. I really hope he evolves at around level 35-ish. I think it might be 38. I do know that he only evolves in the morning, though, so... It is actually still the morning. It's 9.30. That probably still counts as morning, but, uh... We'll have to go and check out what level he actually evolves at. As Dwebble there uses Smackdown, we're already a ground Pokemon, so that doesn't really help your situation as far as bringing us down to the ground goes. Critical hit and it barely did anything. I guess it's because we're a rock type and we kind of resist a ton of stuff. We're also dragon type, so we resist even more stuff. Man, this guy is actually pretty good at tanking things. It's just weak to ice, weak to dragon, weak to fairy, and uh, maybe one more thing. Fighting, I think? What else is it weak to? Wow, actually, Rock is weak to a lot of things. All right, I don't think we have Strength yet, or at least uh, we might have it, but I don't know if we can use it outside of battle. Actually, I think we do, and we can use it because the one guy gave us the badge for it. I'm scared that you're a trainer, so I am going to go ahead and avoid you, and we're just going to exit the cave. If I miss any trainers, I'm probably going to go back and beat them off screen, as well as also catch any Pokemon that might be interesting in this cave. There seems to be a lot of stuff, not really anything new, I don't think, but there's definitely a lot of cool Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. I felt like I was in there forever, but we are now in Shalor City. So, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. We've made it to the city with the third gym in it, so maybe next episode that is what we're going to be doing. Not sure, but I do want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.